So as you guys know, recessives and double recessives are taking the ball path in the world by a storm. But is there still a place for codominant mutations in this industry? And in my opinion, we're going to show you guys today why I still believe there is a lot of potential in certain codoms and certain combinations of codoms. So let's go check out some of the combinations we have in the collection to hopefully convince you guys that codoms still have a place in the industry. So in recent times, everything is recessive based and everyone is trying to chase the next best double recessive or the next best recessive combination. But if you think, if you guys think back a couple of years ago, especially one of the videos or one of the um, Instagram pages that comes to mind when I talk about this topic is Aussie Boyd's. I remember Aussie Boyd's original videos where he was showca showcasing the Dream Bees and the Orange Dream combinations and it just blew my mind the incredible animals that you can produce with codominant mutations. And if I think back, the first animals I started off with, the first genetic mutations I got were spider and pastel. So everyone starts off with codominant genes. So in my opinion, there is still a place for codom genes. And in today's video, I'm gonna try and show you guys why I still believe like that. So here we've got a banana hurricane female. And I'll show you guys the interaction bananas got with hurricane. So banana is one of the first genes that really took the world, the bull path in the world by storm. Um, I think it was um, especially with the speckling coming in and you know being a, a huge um, color mutation and no one has ever seen it really took the bull path in the world by storm. But as you guys can see the interaction between banana and hurricane is actually um, very good. As you guys know, is hurricane brings out the, uh, the swirling patterning and also gives a lot of granite type of look to the animal. And then of course, banana bringing the yellow coloration and of course the purple tint. Next animal we've got is a blackhead Mojave chocolate. And this interaction between blackhead Mojave and chocolate is really something amazing. Let me show you guys over so, here. Yeah. So we know that Blackhead and Mojave, when it interacts with each other, um, it gives a lot of alien heads and a lot of blushing to the patterning. But when you add chocolate onto uh, the combination, it actually darkens up the whole combination and it gives it a more of a black back patterning. As you guys can see, the wide, the alien heads are more removed now and it gives more of a floating patterning in a sense. And of course, making the ridge of the snake a lot darker compared to your blackhead Mojave. And another thing that I saw that the chocolate does in this particular combination is look at a dark head so the black and mojaves in general also have got a darker lightish um, coloration head but when you add chocolate it really darkens up the combination so i must say i'm very very excited to work with this particular female she's only like i said she doesn't have any heads she's just a black head mojave chocolate but i mean i'm very interested in seeing this combination yet again later on in hopefully the super black head or even the super chocolate version and then of course we can add recessives later on an awesome combination and as you guys can see an awesome gene stacking next animal we've got is actually a super form of of, um, a certain gene so this is a super GHI Mojave and she could be possibly yellow belly as well so you guys will see how dark this animal is I really hope the uh, the camera is picking up uh, the contrast this female brings to the table um, so as you guys can see of course the super GHI um, okay, so let's start off with GHI and Mojave interaction also yet again. It's very similar to your Blackhead Mojave. The head's not so dark, and but it still has got the floating pattern, uh, pattern and of course the additional um, alien heads. But when you add another layer of GHI, it tends to remove all of the patterning that the Mojave and GHI interaction has got. And it brings up a darkened animal with this golden or um, stripe running down the back of the dorsal of the animal. So super GHI in general, 
um, it's got a lot more patterning and when you add one bell complex animal so either lesser or harvey um, and the list goes on it turns out to remove all of the patterning and give you a solid black snake here we've got a inchy cypress pinstripe yellow belly hidden in woma or well, that's what i think she is she's definitely inchy cypress pinstripe and hidden gene woma um, I think she is yellow belly as well just uh, by looking at her so let me show you guys this awesome female and hidden gene woma is actually a gene that we haven't seen being worked on a lot um, so it's going to be interesting to add different genetics we know of course that some genes don't work as well with hidden gene woma for instance you can't breed spot nose and spider to hidden gene woma uh, but there's still a lot of directions that we can go with this certain combination so i think actually it will be interesting to see this in a highway version um, so hopefully next year we can produce something um, with this female um, it's, I think actually in the highway uh, direction so uh, like I said she's an inchy cypress pinstripe hidden gene woma and she could be yellow belly as you guys can see is the cypress of course removes the head stamp here at the back and of course pinstripe is a very dominant gene and how I'm seeing hidden gene woma in this particular combination pinstripe has normally got a lot more banding going down the side of the animal but with this animal she's a lot more reduced compared to the other pinstripes and um, that's the hidden gene woma influence coming into this combination awesome animal great gene stacking definitely a hard one to id but i think we've got the id spot on last animal we're going to show you guys is this chocolate pinstripe spot nose female and if you guys compare this female to the previous female we showed you the inchy cypress hidden gene woma uh, pinstripe you guys will see what i meant with the hidden gene woma covering up the whole patterning of the pinstripe as you guys can see is this animal has got a lot more busier patterning compared to the previous animal and that's of course the pinstripe influence so we know that chocolate and spot nose is a lilic so this female in the near future she won't reproduce any normal looking animals so that's also a bonus so chocolate and pinstripe and chocolate and spot nose is normally a very dark combination but with the three genes added into one combination as you guys can see it's, it's got a lighter tint to it so an awesome animal and i think to see this version in hypo and ultra more will be very interesting so what do you guys think do codom still have a place in the ballpark in the world Leave a comment down below what's your opinion about codoms and if they still have a place in the ball path and genetic game. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and at the same time the like button as well. Thank you guys for staying tuned and see you in the next video.